No rats. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freak and geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Beast Wars reissue, Rat Trap. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging here right up front so you can see the classic, the classic Beast Wars packaging. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Nice image there of Rat Trap. Quick attack action and transforming and things and stuff. The big eye on the back. You have your instructions. You also have a very brief bio here on Beast Wars itself. You read that on your own time in multiple languages, hooray for languages, and you have a tech spec card. If that interests you, hooray for tech specs. There's a bio, things and stuff, stuff and things. You got the Kenner logo and everything. Just recreating that original packaging. Very cool. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Rat Trap. And yes, this is one of the uh, Beast Wars reissues that they put out as Walmart exclusives. And um, I actually did find this guy at Walmart, which is amazing because I never find anything at Walmart. My Walmart sucks. But I actually found this guy at Walmart. And um, yeah, this is the only one I picked up because I have an original Optimus Primal. I have an original Megatron, so I didn't need those. I will most likely pick up Scorponok, though, because um, I never had Scorponok. And I never had Rat Trap. That's why I picked them up, too, because I never had an original Beast Wars Rat Trap. So now I have one, and I am happy. But here he is in his rat mount. He's just a little ratty rat. But let's get in close here so we can take a look. Uh, so the details. See the eyes just painted in black. All teeth done in white. And that's pretty much it. We do got some nice detail there. Some nice furry detail there. And you got some brown here on the back. It just kind of fades into the body there. Got a little paws. And a little rat tail. And there is the top. There is the bottom. He has visible a lot. Syndra. It's all there. He slides as rats should slide. Hooray for sliding rats. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the old Thrilling 30 Rat Trap, the Generations Rat Trap. And here he is with the Kingdom Rat Trap. And here he is with the OG Optimus Primal. So you can see how that works out. So there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, um, he does include a weapon, but it's stored inside his uh, his rat body here. So <laughs> we'll take a look at that when we get into robot mode. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, for the rat mode. I mean, again, as far as articulation goes, there's not a whole lot. And head can move down a little bit. Legs don't do anything. His little little paws here they can rotate around a ball joint. So you got some wiggly waggly rotation. That stuff. Tail can move up and down. That's pretty much it. That's all your posability. Um, the mouth doesn't even open because it's just hollow, so there is no real mouth there. There's no joints, so yeah. What you see is pretty much what you get, but yeah, that is pretty much it for the rat mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? So you can get a good spin out of him. He's a breakdancing rat. Alrighty. So transformation is very, very simple. All you're going to do is grab a hold of his tail, and you're going to just pull it up and the whole rat shell will open up this arm always gets caught up here but open that up everything will just unfold like so we just bring the tail down just tuck it in there and all you're going to do is just unpeg his hands to free them up Boop, like that and there you go he doesn't stand all that well though but there there there, there, there you, there you, there you, there you, there you have Rat Trap in his robot mode. And he no stand too good, he no stand too good, but yeah, very simple transformation, it's just kind of a big shell former really. But there he is, in his robot mode, let's get in close here so we can take a look at that, oh geez, Rat Trap. Oh. 
Let's take a look at that noggin here. You can see a very rat trappy noggin. Got the silver there on his head. He's got like a little red dot there. I don't think it's a maximal symbol. It's just a tiny little red dot. <laughs> but the eye is done in red. A whole lot to talk about paint wise. Just the uh, different colored plastics. We got a little bits of silver there. Fist done in silver. A little silver there on the elbow. And you got some silver going down the shins there. There's little ratty feet. And moving up the back, it's just the whole the whole rat pretty much is on his back. So yeah, no. It is what it is. Now articulation wise on the head is on a ball joint. So you do get your wiggly waggly. You can look down a little bit. You can't really look up. The uh, shoulders are on a ball joint. They can move up to a certain point because things are going to get in the way. Back a little bit outward. Um, the elbow is on a ball joint. You get a little over 90 degrees of bend, and your rotation is happening there as well, although it's quite snug on mine. Um, legs can move forward that far. You can do them high kicks back only that far. Outward, you can do the full splits. You got some rotation at the ball joint itself. The knees are on a ball joint. You got 90 degrees of bend, and your rotation is there as well, and you don't have anything at the feet. Now, as far as the weaponry goes, um, again, his weapons are stored, well, one weapon is stored right here in the shell. Let me just pop these pieces out. And you stay. And this section will just slide down to this section. And there you have his little blaster right there. You can peg that into his hand and he can pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang and all of that good stuff right there can you stand please please stand thank you so there you have that and now for comparison here he is with the kingdom right trap the generations right trap and here he is with OG, oh, stay. There he is with OG Optimus Primal. So there you go. So there you have Rat Trap and Oldie, but a goodie. And yeah, I always appreciate these reissues because it gives fans another chance to uh, grab these figures. So always a good thing in my book, so. There you go. Now these reissues are Walmart exclusives, so check your local Walmarts. Um, I believe you can also find these on Hasbro Pulse, so check there as well. And of course, for all your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com, linked in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Beast Wars playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Beast Wars reissue Rat Trap. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. Rat Trap, Rat Trap, what intel did you get on the Predacons? The goal I know, Prime, is that we're all gonna die. Do you always have to be so negative? Negative? That's me being optimistic. <laughs> You're a weird rat, you know that? Weird rat.